just joined the Young Marines. I'm so motivated, I'm still sleeping in my uniform. One day, I really want to be a sergeant major. But after recruit training, nobody really told me how. I dream about being a sergeant major every night. I'm hungry to get promoted. Outside of objectives and stuff, I really wish I knew what to do. Man, what's that smell? My mom was right. I need to go wash my uniform tomorrow. How you doing guys? My name is Mr. Alvin Hendricks, training manager with headquarters Young Marines. And welcome to another episode of Young Marine Pro Tips. This is a very special episode because I wanted to give all the Young Marines out there something fresh for the new year so they can start their 2019 off right. Now, I even pulled my couch and everything out so this counseling session can seem more personal when I bring it to you on video. This episode, we're gonna talk about one of the most important things in the Young Marine program, how to get promoted. We're gonna dub this the Young Marine Journey. I just love how that sounds. Yeah, the Young Marine Journey. Now, we're gonna talk about three things with the Young Marine Journey. One, know the process. Why? Because you have to know all the technical pieces to getting promoted. Two, you must trust the process. You have to trust everything that we're asking you to do so you can get promoted and so you can grow to the next level. Three, you must be true to the process. Why? You can't just skip steps. You can't go from private to sergeant major. There's levels to this. And you have to be true to everything that you're doing with it and not cheat the system. Let's get started. Knowing the process deals with the technical side of getting promoted. You have to know the guidebook objectives for each promotion the awards for each promotion, the billets you need for each promotion, the leadership schools you need before going to the next promotion, and you need a unit commander approval for every promotion. Inside your guidebooks are the objectives for each rank. There's also a graphic at the back of each guidebook to tell you which objectives you need to get promoted. Once you study and retain these objectives, you can get them signed off by your unit commander or whoever your unit commander authorizes to sign off objectives for the guidebooks. Also keep in mind that to advance to the next guidebook, there's a guidebook completion test that you have to take and pass. It's the same concept for the awards. There's a graphic within your fall in page that you can look at that'll give you a step-by-step -step guide for each award that you need so you can take the initiative, look at the awards that you need to get promoted and go ahead and make a plan to get those awards. Next up is billets. Billets are where the rubber meets the road, but I don't want you to sleep on the billets why? Because the new billets are designed to where you have to complete some type of practical application project before you even get credit for the billet, especially for the higher level billets. Billets are also arguably one of the most important things to the Young Marine program's leadership development. Why kids don't learn leadership in the classroom? The billets give you the opportunity to succeed with the freedom to fail and the ability to get guidance from peers and adult volunteers. Next up is the Young Marine Leadership Schools. We have local schools and we have national schools. Junior and senior leadership school can be taken at the local school and the national level. However, advanced leadership school can only be taken at the national schools. Leadership schools, whether national or local, are potentially the one place in the program where you can get the most growth. Why? Because you will be presented with obstacles, given the opportunity to overcome your fears and given the choice to accept challenges. Ah, that's right, young Marines. We accept challenges over here. Sink or swim, that's what young Marines do. My only question is when the challenge comes your way, what are you gonna do? Lastly, you need your unit commander's approval for every promotion. Most unit commanders will get recommendations from the chain of command formally through the promotion boards that you have to have for every promotion and informally through word of mouth from your chain of command. Next up is trusting the process. Follow the proven path to the next promotion. Why? Because it's really not even about the promotion. It's about the growth in between each promotion. Who do you become? Who do you grow into between each promotion? I hear a lot of young Marines complaining about it's too hard to get to the next step sometimes. Well, it's not meant to be easy. It's meant to challenge you. It's not meant to be this easy path to walk. It's the main thing I want you to get from trusting the process is the questions you ask yourself in between each promotion. 
I don't want you to ask yourself, what am I getting out of this? Especially when it's getting hard. Don't ask yourself what you're getting out of this. Ask yourself, what am I becoming? Don't, don't get so caught up in the title, in the chevrons of that billet. Concentrate, focus, and ask yourself, what am I becoming? The last and final step to the Young Room promotion system is being true to the process. You have to be true to the process because there's gonna be plenty of times during this young Marine journey where your integrity is gonna be challenged. The little person on the left and the little person at the right are gonna be at odds. The greatest enemy in your lifetime is gonna be the enemy within. And you're gonna to have to be ready for him. You can be ready for him by taking small steps every day by being true to the young Marine process. So when those big things come, and you're challenged to go the wrong way and not take the high road, you're going to be ready and you're gonna take the path that you're supposed to take. So when the task and the practical application that comes with doing all the billets and everything that you have to do to get promoted, make sure that you honestly take the time, do what you need to do and not cheat the process. Just go with it and be true to what you have to do to pass and to get promoted. This is because you as an individual and us as adult volunteers and headquarters staff, we want you to get everything that you can out of the billet. And if you don't do everything properly and completely commit and be true to the process with the billet system and the promotion system, you won't get everything you're gonna get out of it and you won't grow the way you need to grow. So don't cheat yourself. And there you have it, Young Marines. Those are my three things that are necessary to be successful with the Young Marine promotion system. And as always, never be afraid to overcome your fears, accept challenges, and commit to meaningful change. As always, my name is Mr. Alvin Hendricks, training manager with headquarters, Young Marines. And don't be Young Marine Lance Corporal, I don't feel like it. Make sure you get the job done.